Hello and welcome to the Tech Bytes audio cast. My name's Tim and I'm from the Oak Bytes Blogger Z and with me is Dr. Roy Shesterwitz from the Tech Rights website. It's Friday night and I'm gonna get sauce. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost. He tried to boss me and was outbossed. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost Underneath his creeper bridge Hoping goats will cross Quoting Ashcroft and Tom Ridge I right. fought the Hello and welcome to the Tech Pikes Audio Cast episode 63 It's Sunday, October the 9th, 2011 And uh, the full crew's here tonight Myself, Roy and Rusty Before we get into the show I'd just like to announce And uh, anybody who's been following me on the yeah, diaspora I don't think you probably already know this, but uh, on Friday, just gone, my wife gave birth to a nine pound, one ounce uh, baby girl called Amy. So uh, I'm over the moon with that at the moment, and I hope people will forgive me for taking a bit of a sideline on most of the subjects tonight, because other duties have me very busy elsewhere. Uh, tonight we are going to be talking about uh, Steve Jobs and the uh, rather sad news that he's passing away over the last few days. I'm also going to be looking at Richard Stallman's views and some of the misinterpretations that have been posted around the internet. I think we're always going to be talking about Android and Intellectual Ventures lawsuits, and we've got a selection of Creative Commons music to put in the show throughout the uh, evening, alongside a few other uh, discussions and topics that uh, we've got coming up. So without further ado, I'll pass you straight over to Roy, and he can start us off. Well, you've already mentioned the news, the major news about uh, your daughter, so that's uh, congratulations. It's very, that's very important news, he has there, you know? Yeah, well, it is from the point of view of the, uh, I think, of the people running there. Uh, you know, these people who uh, probably know Tim is the host of the show uh, will be gratified to know he will probably have fewer days of the week to be available. <laughs> but, uh, it's hopefully, um, hopefully you will still. It's actually introduced me to one new, se- uh, one new skill now because uh, having been a seasoned veteran at uh, bringing up a uh, young lad and uh, children, so it's introduced me to one more skill because when the wife was released from hospital, she had to have injections and. Um, she was going to have to stay in the hospital if she couldn't inject herself, but I stepped forward to inject her, and uh, I've been doing that tonight, so I've uh, assumed the role of a doctor tonight, and uh, been doing that, so it's a new experience for me that way. It's, uh, it's all been very busy, but uh, it's now, after a long wait, it's, it's now all over, so uh, hopefully things will be starting to get back into a routine and a bit of normality, so uh, but it's been very it's been very nice all the kind wishes on uh, Diaspora and Eventico and uh, the other social networking sites that I'm a member of, so it's been greatly appreciated, so... Thanks to everybody that uh, sent the good wishes, and uh, hopefully um, it'll be Roy or Rusty will be the next ones uh, to announce on the show. Well, um, I was just going to say, uh, speaking of births, the um, <clears throat> I'm not sure how to approach the subject of Steve Jobs because I think people will uh, naturally uh, think of the controversies around. You know, should we criticize him now, or is it too early? Should we not criticize him? Was he a visionary? What I had a problem. I, I, you know, I, I, if you're criticizing him with respect, I don't think there's anything wrong with it because if you're doing that six, twelve months from now, it's not really relevant. He's he's dead. If you're dancing on his grave, that's crossing the line. You know. <laughs> How would you define the dancing on the grave of a person? Let's say thing that. Uh, like the Baptists we have here who are oh, saying yeah. he's sin incarnate because he. <laughs> Didn't praise God, right? <laughs> I think the police is actually on to the case and trying to uh, block the uh, picketing of the funeral. Uh, which is, you know, I had this conversation with a few people to find out whether that's like the first. I, I know it's not the first time they actually try and stop that, right? So this is a rich man's funeral, so he's more likely to have the police try and help him out. And as we know, Apple was also impersonating being police and having like people who are former police people. Abusing their power on behalf of Apple to scare people away and trying to issue threats to people so they get confessions out, uh, things like that. Legend, legend uh, stories that we hear. I think, I mean, certainly with Mr. Jobs, I, I've never really used Apple products. I've spoken a lot about my wife having very good experiences with uh, with the products, but I think what a lot of people are saying on on the net in regards to uh, Mr. Jobs. I think Apple's actions and Apple's uh, behaviour in the marketplace would have been exactly the same whether it was Mr. Jobs or anybody else in power, as it were. I think Steve can be credited for making uh, technology a fashionable item to have, uh, the, the iProduct range, 
there's something that everybody wants to have uh, poking out of their back pockets. And uh, I think the actions that some people criticise Apple for, I think, would have happened regardless of whether it was Steve Jobs in power, in power or not. Um, the one thing that people haven't mentioned is the thing that it has brought uh, to the tech world, and that is by producing products like the iPhone, the iPad, etc., etc. He raised the bar for competition, and therefore, when we use Linux, well, and, 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 see, that's the thing. People always misunderstand what Yab's contribution to tech is, and this is where the Apple fanboys come from. You know, they're like, "Oh, he invented it. He, you know, he did." It. That's not really what Apple and and Yab's did. Um, the contribution there is is a marketing. It was good at marketing. You know, almost nothing they produced or that he wanted produced was new. They just said, "This is how I want to make it. This is how I want to market it." <laughs> yeah, I mean, one one uh, nice way of putting it is that uh, to quote a person who calls himself Homer. He's basically saying this is more of a fashion statement than a technology company because they weren't actually making the pertinent components, they chose and put together and integrated all those things to make a product called an iPhone or an iPad, uh, but they weren't actually making the chips and the designs and making innovations like, you know, NUM gates and all kinds of stuff. And that's the misconception people don't seem to get kind of, you know, even if you look at the patents of Mr. Job, people say he's got loads of patents, many of them have to do something to do with, like, design and integrating things and what they're supposed to look like. Yeah, then there's that infinite yeah. touch thing. It's like the gesture that's in any way like a gesture. <laughs> yeah, well, but of course there is fire art as well. So, so that kind of. Uh, uh, I mean, no, one, you, sorry. Yeah. Uh, one, one very quick point I was going to make. You said uh, Steve Jobs uh, wouldn't be the, the only person in Apple to do what he did uh, as CEO, you know, overlooking the, uh, everything in the company. But the matter of fact, he was a public figure. And I think loads of people apply the same standards that they apply to a person who's disease. And, you know, if you don't say it, if you don't have anything nice to say about it, you might as well not say anything at all. But that applies to, like, your grandparents, and maybe. When a person's run a company that affects loads of people's lives, uh, they should be subjected to some scrutiny for the same reason that politicians get, so, you know, as people are supposed to be public servants, should be expected to be criticized or watched by the, by, you know, by the people who, who they are supposed to be representing or have loads of influence about uh, on in, in all kinds of ways. He, he, he chose to be the public light. He was the one going on stage and showing you the product. So if anybody is going to blame someone for things and trying to personify the company, that's, you know, that's him. He chose to be in this position. So, you know, it's, so to say something like, you know, don't blame jobs, well, who do you blame? Like a logo or... That's yeah, good. that that that's like like you're saying. It's uh, like uh, Tim was saying. You know, Apple might have done it without Jobs, but Jobs was always going to get the uh, the blood of it because, like you said, the marketing campaign he chose to take the company with is I'm going to stand on the stage, I'm going to be front and center, and I am Apple. <laughs> it's like that's yeah, what he, he chose he, to do. <laughs> he wasn't such a poor person. Uh, I'm saying, you know, he made money, he became very famous. And he's got loads of fans. I mean, no doubt he's got more fans than people who dislike him or people who criticize him. So if you say something like, oh, don't say anything negative, it will insult him. I, say, I don't think he'll be insulted. He, he just looks at all his fans. And, uh, you know, even before you know, he died, or he, he could have seen, he knows he's got his fan base and he's fine with it. You're allowed to point out, point out what I consider to be just truth about the, the situation or the completeness. Uh, then there is the question, is it politically correct, and is it reasonable to do that? And that's a separate thing. And, and of course, uh, I was going to mention something about Rachel Stolmix. One of the listeners asked me to uh, say something about it. Basically, with Richard Stolmix, he made a controversial remark. But the problem I have with that is that he said several times in his message that he is not happy about the death of the, with Mr. Jobs. He said it twice before. He said the last few words, which was say basically... Uh, I'm not happy he's dead, I'm happy he's basically gone from Apple, so he doesn't play Apple anymore. And loads of sites that have a sort of vendetta against Stallman were just quoting the last few words that he's happy Jobs is gone, which would be read by most people as, oh, he's happy he's dead, even though he, you know, explicitly twice said, no, I'm not taking this approach and I'm not happy he's dead. So, well, so what's, what's really, really funny is I've said stuff like that. I, I've said it several times. I thought, uh, yeah, and this is a little bad taste with him being dead now, but I've said several times, 
Apple might wind up being a better company post Steve Jobs if they get the right people to replace him, because there are certain things Jobs will never do that could be very good for Apple and the consumer. You know what I I, I, I think I said in the previous episode what you're